Welcome back to another week of SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 GM Mode. I am your host, Attack Slug, and today, the stunning return of one Stone Cold Steve Austin on the program after six weeks, six long weeks, of being injured with some busted up ribs after a Hell in a Cell match against The Rock for that world title. Let's check on our rosters and see what the fatigue looks like and who wants to win today. Fatigue is doing excellent on the entire freaking roster. Popularity-wise, it's Rock, Mankind, and Stone Cold, and John Cena, our top four superstars in the morale. We have Paul London, who wants a win, and we have Randy Orton, who wants... Owen, I'm pretty sure I meant it happened today on the show, but in the meanwhile, our contractual status is this is we have the big show. Needs a new deal, and so does Scotty. So we hill with 2.6 million in our starting cash. Let's manage the contract of the world's largest athlete. And I'm gonna say, yeah, another five weeks. So I think that if this big show and Chris Jericho feud goes south, he is the first candidate to get traded to Raw. If Raw will have him, we'll see. So yeah, another five weeks. We'll see how it goes. But otherwise, Scotty Too Hotty, can we give him a just minuscule amount of money for what he does here on the blue brand? Scotty, yeah, you can get a hundred grand for five weeks on that. It's fine. He has a 43 in his pop. Otherwise, London, Haas, Jericho, Cena, and Shelton, and Regal can all wait for a little bit here on this deal as we make some more money here on these shows. Current champions are The Rock, Edge and Christian, John Cena, and Rey Mysterio, Buyaka Buyaka. And my current rivalries include this one. Now, I'm going to run a match today. It's not going to be Austin and Rock one-on-one -on -one just yet. And I'm hoping that I don't ruin things after waiting for six long episodes to get back to this particular main event deal, but we'll see. But Austin going to need some wins here, and perhaps I can make that happen here on the show today. But otherwise, Jericho, Big Show, four weeks, thumbs up. Edge and Orton just started last time, and it's so far so good. Ray and London, six weeks, thumbs up. I have my doubts on that's going to hold, but we'll see. And John Cena Batista is two weeks, thumbs up. Michael's Mankind, four weeks, thumbs up. Those all need to stay good, if at all possible. We'll find out on the show today. So, in the free agents, it is who? It is where? It is why? It is uh, sorting Orlando Jordan, Dupree, Chavo, Davari, Christy Hemi, the Bashams. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Hein, den, hein, den, Reich. Let's hop in here, check the emails real quick. Which is, hey, Stone Cold is back in action, and a Big Show has an expiring contract. Also, Big Show now should be all good on his wrist injury. I'm pretty sure, but we'll check on that. All right, one more week of Big Show's minor wrist injury, so I don't want to go crazy with match tips for the Big Nasty. So, backing out, backing out, and heading into July the 12th, Augusta, Maine, as we head towards our uh, pay-per-view of the Great American Bash with three more SmackDowns. So building towards that show, hopefully all rivalries continue to be a thumbs up. I'm not going to promise anything because we know how things go here on this program. So the main event is going to be a guest referee bit of business on the return of one Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's going to be a regular standard matchup. And it's going to be Steve Austin, who's at 90, versus a Booker T at 66. And your referee is going to obviously be The Rock. So will Rock call things right down the middle on his show, SmackDown? Match number five going to be a hardcore match. And it's going to be in a singles capacity. And it will be Shawn Michaels versus uh, Mankind. The Hardcore Legend. Uh, that's 19,000 on that one match. Okay. Finally, we're freed up to not have to keep doing the in-place rivalry business. It's about freaking time. 
So what if I finally send out some interference to Monday Night Raw? We haven't done it this month thus far. So who will go and interfere on Raw and cause some chaos? Who is not getting booked on the show today? I'm going to say it will be Christian. So Christian, head over to Raw and cause some chaos for $50,000. Now, match number four is going to be Triple Threat with Jericho. So Jericho and The Big Show. And the third man will be one Shelton Benjamin, who is currently not in a feud anymore because the hedge thing did not pan out for us. So Big Show, Jericho, and Shelton Triple Threat. Let's do some Cena and Batista. And I want to toss in a manager with that business. So John Cena. And it'll be a Batista. And managing a Batista will be Scotty to Hottie. Because why not? Promo number one. Let's do some more merchandise on that tip. We still have... Oh, right. Randy Orton. So I think that... If we do a handicap match, a one-on-two deal, Edge versus Randy and Regal should give Randy the victory he so desperately desires on this program. And also we have Paul London, who wanted to win, wanted to make it a win. And I feel like we could also do a handicap thing there to give London his win, maybe? Perhaps. Who's not booked on this show just yet? Let's see. Handicap match, one-on-two... And actually, no. Let's do a handicap um, handicap match one on tag. It'll be a tag team affair here. So, Ray on one side, Paul London on the other. But who else is not booked on this program? Charlie Haas. So, can London and Haas beat Mysterio in a one on tag handicap match? That remains to be seen. And so that should satisfy our six feuds here on SmackDown. We got Ray and Paul with Haas. We have Edge versus Randy and Regal. Merchandise promo. Cena versus Batista with Scotty as a manager. Big Show, Jericho, Shelton Benjamin. Christian interferes on Raw. Michaels Mankind, Hardcore. And Austin versus Booker T with The Rock as the guest referee. And hope for the best as we always do here on these shows. So Ray... Versus London and Haas. I'm hoping that Ray loses here to get to keep Paul London happy on this show. And yes, they won the match. So that should solve that problem. We have Edge versus Randy and Regal. And again, Randy wants that victory. And he gets it. We have Cena versus Batista with no title on the line. But Scotty in the corner and Batista gets the win. Big Show, Chris Jericho, Shelton, Benjamin... It is The Big Show, who I hopefully is still going to just be uninjured next week, tomorrow. We'll see. Shawn Michaels, Mankind, Hardcore Legend wins that match. And the return of Stone Cold Steve Austin. So give me a hell yeah, because Stone Cold is back in the building and wants the title that he never lost. He won Hell in a Cell. He retained and could not defend in those 30 days, therefore was stripped of the title, and The Rock won it in that epic six-man battle royal on the show. So, old Steve-O is going to hopefully be at the Great American Bash and hopefully keep these thumbs up on this dude and main event once again versus The Rock. Because if he doesn't, then I cannot guarantee his employment here on SmackDown after being out of action for that long. Hopefully these fans still care about Austin and Rock as your two top tier main event talents on the blue brand, but I don't know for sure. Tony Chimmel, much obliged. He's looking for that. Daggers, man. Daggers at Chimmel is pretty good. But today's opponent, the man who has a very similar finish to The Rock. The man who has the book end, which is very similar to the rock bottom. So, book a T here. Uh, hoping to make a mark on the main event division here on SmackDown. 
Uh, I wouldn't put it past him because he is the five-time, five-time, five-time WCW World Heavyweight Champion. So never discount King Abuka. And again, not wearing the stripes is the people's champ, The Rock, who I will hope will call this one right down the middle. But I would also hope for a returning Austin here to be victorious unless The Rock decides to screw him because The Rock is the current champion. So he doesn't, want, he, he doesn't want his challenger being healthy heading in towards the Great American Bash. But I'm just hopeful. All I want is for this to not turn that feud thumbs down and continue the nine-week curse I've gotten into in this game thus far. I've not had one feud go three thumbs for ten weeks. It's not happened yet, and I want it ever so badly, and I feel like two guys in the 90s should make that happen here, uh, both figuratively and literally. So, their pop is both in the 90s. And they both... Oh, Rocky, look at that, look at that! The Rock! Okay, yes. This game knows. It actually has those details of The Rock not liking Stone Cold and totally just hitting the back of the head because they're rivals. So, here's hoping the crowd appreciates that and does not turn on this feud. But also, we need an Austin victory. I mean, it's his first night back after six long weeks being on the shelf. So, either way, going to be quite interesting. Is The Rock going to fast count it? No, Rock is just one and a one count. Took too long to get there, Rock. Was not in the proper referee position. So, unfortunate, but hey. Booker, though, holding his own. Absolutely holding his own here against Stone Cold. Still salty on that whole assault in the supermarket deal uh, against Steve. But you never know with Austin. Bulldog. Booker is now in the yellow and his body. And here comes the fingers. And here's to ya. You sorry piece of trash. So Austin working the leg. STF from Austin locks it in. But it's too early here in this matchup to even get and consider a submission maneuver being the finish of the matchup, but hey, into a headlock. Like, Austin was indeed the ringmaster, so his uh, wrestling talent is bar none. Even with that neck injury, he is still one of the goats. So, again, wants to stretch, absolutely stretch Booker T here and get himself even further towards hitting that Stone Cold Stunner. It's looking pretty good here for Austin and pretty bad for Booker. So, will we see that stunner, or will The Rock perhaps interrupt that stunner from happening? Oh, what do we got here? What do we got? Austin! Austin! Back elbow! Nope. Booker T rolls him up! Nope. Okay. Is he going to store the finish? As Booker is perhaps a little bit winded here. Oh. Spins him! Kick! Stunner! And Rock is like, wait, what? Huh? What's happening here? No! Booker, come on! I need the help. All right. Will he count fast enough? One, two, a two count. It took too long for Rock to count, and Book got out of it just barely. Just barely. And Austin now, house of fire on Booker T. The crowd's going nuts as Austin's handling his business here and working the leg at the 333 mark on the clock. Because he is almost more than halfway back towards another finishing maneuver. So, I don't know. Pump handle. Pump handle on Austin. Oklahoma slam from Book. He might hit that kick. He might go for that Harlem hangover. And yes, hits the Harlem hangover. And will he hit those kicks? Oh, he hits one. And here it is. Now, will he spin a Rooney? Yes. The problem with the spinner Rooney is you're giving Austin the time to get back up and get back on the offense. So all that hot dogging and grandstanding does he no good if Austin is still a deadly rattlesnake at the end of the day. So picks him up and knee to the gut and hammer throw to the outside goes Buck. Will Austin go to the ropes? Oh, we're going to the outside now. This is Stone Cold's specialty here on the brawling on the outside. So, Rock, Rocky hopefully already at four, five. Uh, we could see a double count out here. No, Austin wisely 
back in the ring. And we're at nine! Booker just makes it and somehow gains the advantage. That was a little bit weird, but okay. Austin got caught off guard there and was jawjacking for whatever reason. But only in that yellow. And that's not going to be enough to make the Rattlesnake tap. Not even remotely close to that happening on this program. Arm drag, and I say deep arm drag, but oh, low blow from Booker T. Gut kick, kick to the head from that spin kick, and picks it back up. But Austin somehow fights back with all he has. He wants that all important win on the return, and a hammer through the outside. And Austin just taking more damage as Booker T says, Fat time, fat time, fat time, spin a Rooney. And see, Book, he shouldn't have been hot dogging and grandstanding. But he fights back somehow, some way. Austin ducks out. Back elbow. Kick again. That combination is absolutely ridiculous. And I don't know. Can Austin's neck survive another finish from Booker T? Because I don't think it can. And Austin now just whiffing. And oh my god. The half and half suplex onto his surgically repaired neck is nuts. Because here comes Book again. The scissor kick. Beautiful. But that spinner that freaking spinner lets Austin recover and spears the man and just punches to the mouth. Now his head is in the red. Austin's still in the lead here somehow, someway. Can he make it a win? Rocky, one, two, and a three. Rock had to count three. So minimal Reaction there from... Oh, he doesn't like doing that. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah. Fingers all around. Fantastic. So, the stunning return of Stone Cold Steve Austin here on SmackDown. I have to hope that keeps me at a nine-week thumbs up. I'm kind of scared to look. I'm kind of terrified to look, but here we go. Continuing to the deal. Interference from Christian. Fan change. SmackDown! 70,000 back on SmackDown. Hell yeah. So Raw got three stars. SmackDown got one, two, three stars. We're even there. I managed to get a little bit more than SmackDown. But the main event on Raw was Triple H victorious over somebody. So I have to hope that means we're good on all these six rivalries. But now... We're going to go look. First and foremost, looking at the reports and the fan support. So gaining a little bit of ground there, 4.8 to 5.1. As long as that continues, then we're good. But we'll see. Now, Raw was 2, 2.5, 2.5, 3.5, 3.5, 4. So Taker, Angle, and Triple H over Bret Hart in a handicap one-on-3 match in Lexington, Kentucky. Okay. Meanwhile, SmackDown, 1.5 on that handicap match. Two and a half, three, three, four, and four. And that should hopefully mean we're good on everything. I'm going to say perhaps this one fell apart on Mysterio versus London and Haas, but we're going to find out here shortly. Shortly. So, beyond that, I want to see the rosters. I want to see uh, what's going on here. Is everybody happy? Shelton Benjamin is not happy. All right, so first and foremost, fatigue level. We got Michaels is up there, so... He perhaps should not be working any more hardcore for a little bit here. But otherwise, the rest of the roster is great. Uh, morale. Only Shelton Benjamin. He is content, and he wants to make it a win. We'll see, Sheltie. We'll see. But that means now nobody is injured. There are no injuries now on this SmackDown roster. I love it. Let's check on the most important thing. Rivalries. Nine weeks. Thumbs up. Okay, anybody else? Five weeks, thumbs up. One week, thumbs up. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Ray and London, seven weeks, thumbs down. Perhaps I'll be having, having to hire Spike Dudley or trade for somebody on Raw or Christian. I don't know. We'll figure it out tomorrow. But otherwise, Batista, Cena, thumbs up. And Michaels Mankind, thumbs up. So at least five of those should hopefully stay good. Fingers crossed, until the Great American Bash. But until then, I'm going to save. I'm your host, Attack Slug. More videos right here on this channel. I will see you next time. And I'm out.